Hi everyone, welcome back to Tosco. Today we are going to review the Maxim Cup semi final Shin Jin Sun 9P versus Shin Min Jun 9P. Let's see the footage from the match first. White is Shin Jin Sun 9P and black is Shin Min Jun 9P. Shin Min Jun 9P is ranked third in Korea and the strongest rival of Shin Jin Sun 9P now. They have been called as Yang Shin, which means Double Shin, ever since they became professional players together in 2012. While the two players have played each other in professional tournaments for 8 years, Shin Jin Seo is ahead in the head-to-head -head records by 18 wins and 5 losses as of yet. Shin Jin Seo 9P is probably the best player in the world for now. He won the LG Cup last month, which was the latest major international competition. He's ranked the first in Korea, and his record of this year is 22 wins and 1 loss. And the interesting fact is that Shin Jin Seo's only loss of this year was from Shin Min Jun. This is going to be a super exciting game. Alright, now let's start the game review. Like I said, white is Shin Jin Sun 9P and black is Shin Min Jun 9P. Both players take the 3 3 point away from each other, which is a usual opening these days. Here, this one space jump is very interesting. And the meaning of this one space jump is that Black cannot push and cut here because the ladder is good for white now. Back here, black could cut on this side and white is happy with the variation because white has the initiative now. So here, Shin Min Jun plays the knight move which is a flexible move and here AI actually prefers this push for a stronger wall. And in this case, white takes the sende and play the bottom right corner first. I guess Shin Min Jun wanted to get sende and play the right side first. It's hard to say which is better and it's just a matter of style. And here Shin Jin Seo attaches to the corner right away. Actually, I made a video about the attachment before. So if you want to learn more about the move, please select the card in the top right corner to check out. Shin Min Jun harness in response to that, and Shin Jin Seo attaches again to the side. This move was played by AlphaGo Master Version in 2017. At that time, it went like this. White is being very light in this situation. And Shin Min Jun probably should have known about it too. So that's why he didn't go this way. Back here, black cuts, and Atari first. White extends to save the stone. Black connects. White takes the own stone. And black extends up. Now actually the A and B exchange is not really beneficial for white. If we go back to the beginning, and if white harness here first, and goes the same as the real game, now this shoulder hit is stronger follow for white. If black pushes next, white harness. And it's difficult for black to cut here because White can push through like this. Now black loses the 3 stones if black cuts here. Because this is Atari and white can capture the 3 stones. So back here, black should just capture the 2 stones. And white can easily connect like this. And it's a better outcome for white because the second line is opened by A. 
which means black doesn't really have a big territory. So because of this shoulder hit, back here, black usually harness instead. White makes a nice wall, and black is also fine invading on the bottom side like this. So back here, I'm not so sure about this attachment. And another reason why this attachment is a bit dubious is that after it goes like this, black can make the cut first and connect because the letter is good for black now. So the same shape happens in the real game and Shinji attaches again to make a letter breaker. And now black cannot respond to that, right? Because of the letter, so black defends the right side. White harness and black extends. Here Shinji makes the center first and extends here. But AI points out that this center is unnecessary and even a bad exchange for white. The reason for that is that back here, if white doesn't make the exchange and just play like this, black responds with this squeeze. And now white can make a great sacrifice by extending here. Now white's intention is not to save the three stones, but sacrifice them to block black off in exchange for. If black pushes up, white blocks. And when black cuts, white is happy to sacrifice the three stones by this Atari and extension. Black should defend the right side and the push is good for white, which is Sente. Black extends and white makes some more Sentes on the right side to strengthen the center wall like this and make another wall on the left side. It could be a bit difficult for a human to think of and it's quite an AI variation, but it looks good, right? I think this kind of variation is always good to consider and learn. And here Shiminjun squeeze is a good move that makes it difficult for white to move next. The reason why this is a good move is that if white connects, now blank makes the bamboo joint and the A and B exchange is beneficial for black. If white extends instead, black makes the center and one space jump. White could push and cut, but black can just make the center and defend the right side. White has to protect the cutting point and black tenuk is taking the bottom side. Black can aim to move the A stone out and they will be really disturbing for white from now on. So in the real game, Shin Jin so just fixes the cutting point with the knight move. Shin Min Jun defends the right side next, and instead of that move, he could have taken the bottom side, because the top right corner of black is okay, and the A and B are me I. I think Shin Min Jun played safe because now it's going well for black. Continuing the real game, Shin Jin so defends the bottom side and Shin Min Jun approaches the top left corner. Here the Joseki choice is important for white. And the key is that the top side is not variable for white, which means white needs to focus on the top left corner. For instance, if white plays the normal Joseki, black is happy to take the corner like this. That being said, here I should choose between this attachment or this attachment. In the real game, Shin Jin so chooses this one, but AI prefers this one. After black extends, if black makes the extension, white invades right away like this. And it looks simpler for white. So up to this point, Shin Jin so made so many attachments, like this, 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 and even this. Just by looking at the moves, we can see that Shin Jin so's style is very aggressive, like Lee Sedor, whereas Shin Min Jun's style is relatively solid and calm, which reminds me of Lee Chang Ho, 
One tip for studying pro games is that it's better to study them depending on your own style. If you prefer a lot of fighting, Shin Jin Seo, Kozie, and Lizardor's games are always good to study. And if you prefer Solid Star, Shin Min Jun, Lee Chang Ho, and Park Jong Hwan's games are always good to study. Continuing the real game, Shin Min Jun extends here instead of this Hane, which is the normal Joseki. The reason why Black extends here is that Black also wants to take the corner rather than the side. For instance, if Black Hanes, it goes like this. And I can build a nice box on the top side. So back here, continuing the real game, black stands, white connects, black pushes, and white blocks, black harness, and white cuts. The harness sent for black, and Shinjin makes the Atari to save the A stone, like this. But actually, AI points out that White Shidev sacrificed the A stone. White Shidev made the double Hane and sacrificed the A stone. Then the variation goes like this. And White can take the top side quite nicely, like this. Black's wall on the left side is not that great because the left side is narrow and small. I agree with AI on this, even considering Shin Jin Seo's aggressiveness. Sometimes simpler, better. Continuing the real game, Black makes the Hane and cuts to take the corner. White extends, and here, this block was the first mistake that Shin Min Jun made in this game. AI says that Black should have extended first. And the difference between this version and the real game is that this way, Black can keep the A stone alive. If White takes the Pomnuki, Black can capture White by ladder like this. So back here, White has to just Atari and connect. And Blank makes the Sente again. And here, if White doesn't respond to the Sente and play here, White is dead like this. Because White cannot make the Atari at A. So back here, White has to just extend and Black connects. The White stones in the corner are dead. And if I start the capturing race like this, White is one liberty shoot because I cannot make the Atari at A or B. Back here, continuing the real game, after the Sente, White takes the Pomnuki and gains some points, which makes the game even. The bamboo joint is the key point, and Blank makes the diagonal move to prevent White from making the center of A. Here, Shin Jin Seo makes the two space jump to drive Black away, but that was the big mistake, according to AI. If Black runs like this, White makes the one space jump, and the A and B exchange is better for White. But Shin Min Jun ignores the cover and Tenuki like this. Now the value of Black Four Stones gets smaller. And after the cover move, this shoulder hit is a great move to sacrifice the four stones. Here white cannot block because black can Hane here. And if white blocks again, black extends and white is dead. Here white could try attaching here. But black extends, Atari, push, and extend and take the 3 stones, like this. Now black is gaining much more than white is, so if this happens, this is game over. So back here, Shin Jin Seo has to just capture the stones, and Shin Min Jun Tanuki is again, taking the bottom side. 
Now black is ahead on points. Black keeps making the beneficial sentence. And here, this invasion was the mistake that could have given white a chance to come back. However, in the real game, Shin Jin Seo just missed the chance by blocking here. This block looks obvious, but that was actually the losing move of this game. So back here, what white should have done instead is this disconnection. And if I had done that, the game could have been very complicated. Black pushes up next, and white makes the diagonal move for a base. Black covers next, and white leaves in center like this. And afterward, this block is center for white. And white can reverse the game by taking the center like this. Here, do you know what happens if black doesn't respond to the block and tanuki? It's a good life and death problem. And if you know this, you are a dumb player for sure. The answer for white is Hana here first and throw in. If black takes the stone, white jumps in and it becomes cold like this. So back here, black should just extend to avoid the cold. And this squeeze is another good move to run. If black connects, it's dead. So black must make the tiger small and white connects here first. If black takes the stone, white can kill it by the attachment. So black has to make the tiger small again and black has only two points left now. And white gains so much in center. Back to the real game. White blocks and black connects underneath. Now the game has become favorable for black with the lead on points. Shin Jin Seo strives to build the center now. But it's a difficult task and Shin Min Jun effectively reduces it. This is Sente, and it's another Sente. Black makes the two space jump to reduce again. And now I cannot disconnect black because this is Sente for black. So black can connect. Shin Jin Sun tried his best to make the comeback until the end, but Shin Min Jun gave him no chance at all and won by resignation. So Shin Min Jun defeats Shin Jin Sun and advances to the final of the Mexican Cup. The opponent in the final is Lee Ji Hyun 9P, who is my classmate when I was young. The final is the best 2 out of 3, and the first game is going to be held on April 13th. It's gonna be another great game, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So that's it for today. If you have any requests for topics or anything you'd like to see, feel free to leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn the notification. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.